15 of the NFL. And we've got the Vikings, towering wide receiver, who's topped the 1,300-yard mark receiving on the year. It's the Vikings and the Raiders, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup, which should be a good one, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They come in off the extended break from the bye. I think it was much needed as well. You play two, two and a half months, you're ready for some time off to get set for the home stretch. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings, they've handled all covers through the first three months, a perfect 12-0. Yeah, they're three quarters of the way to a perfect season, and now is where it really starts to get into your mind. We'll see if it affects their play in any way. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023. The former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down. Got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. From the 22, here's second and eight. There's Garoppolo to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. To Michael Mayer, his intended receiver, and it's third down. You look at this defense for the Vikings. Now, they've been pretty much a mess against the pass number 31 in the league. And when you're getting ready to face the number one overall offense in the NFL. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here's A.J. Cole now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. That'll go as a 39-yard punt, give him nine on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. So excellent starting position here for the Vikings. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl-type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. Back to throw here. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked up by Robert Spillane. And the Raiders are going to have it here at their own 15. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. 
coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body, get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. This defense for the Vikings, they were very good a week ago in that win over Minnesota. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Caught out right by Renfro. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Now a second and six. Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game and certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. This is taken at the 23. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams. On defense, they may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more on tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Raider drive will strike from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 15. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Here's a second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. He'll rumble for about six up across the 20 to the 22. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Now, look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. 
And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense, that's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. And now out comes Minnesota. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw out wide is incomplete. The partner of this offense 12 and 0 now on the year following their latest victory. And during the week, a lot of folks making comparisons between this squad and the 1985 Bears. You know, they too were 12 and 0 at this juncture of the season. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Raiders are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. A tough adjustment to the NFL throughout this rookie season, and his problem with turnovers is only exacerbated by his early showing today. That's a couple for him here in this first half, and he's cleared the double-digit mark for the entire season. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's to the veteran tight end, Austin Hooper. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. On play action, now Garoppolo. Oh, and that is incomplete. Hunter Renfro is a man he was looking for. Third down here. Hey, look at this defense for the Vikings. This crew against the pass, it's been a real struggle. Second from the bottom in the NFL, number 31. Defending the pass has not been one of their strong suits throughout the season, but they have any hopes of making waves in January. They've got to improve in this area. How about the show put on by these two defenses in this first half? The fireworks don't have to be just offensively. Neither one of them given an inch, and that's good coverage once again there to force another fourth down. Taken from just outside the 30. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. Bottom line, he's got to figure things out. He's completed three passes, but two of them have been to the wrong team so far. And when we talk about the best quarterbacks, we're usually talking about touchdown to interception ratio, aren't we? And two to one is acceptable, but the top line guys, three to one or better is what they're looking for. Now we're talking about interceptions versus completions. That's not a ratio should ever be in any discussion. Now here's a throw that's complete. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. Two yards still to go, third down now. Now back to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second... Run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Here's Jenkins on first and 10. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. Second down, Jacobs once more. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Third and 12. Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And Minnesota's offense takes over possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll set up to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Moss. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. They'll drop to throw. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And look at we talk about the back prior to the game, their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. To throw is Garoppolo. Quickly a slant to Renfro. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas, the home standing Raiders with a football here. The Raiders on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. Now a run with a fullback, Johnson. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. There you go, partner. That's an old school football right there. You need one yard? Give it to your bruiser fullback and let him get the job done. Jacob's going to try the middle. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and eight. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Open man right side, Myers. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10.
Once again, it's Jacobs, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Vikings are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, when you start thinking of guys that are in the mix for Defensive Player of the Year, I think you use him as Exhibit A. Maybe he's not the leading guy right now, but he's at least on the periphery and deserves to be in the discussion. And because of that, he's looking at a game today where in order to make that big move and maybe become the guy, he needs multiple takeaways, multiple big plays, things that get our attention and reverberate for weeks to come. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Complete Jefferson to target. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Pass incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. And that one blown up quickly, as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And based on my math, They've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. And his kick is good. And the Vikings have a 3 0 lead. So the defense are able to force the interception and the offense working their way to field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides will be thrilled with that. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38th. Here's a handoff to Jenkins running left. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. It'll be a sack and a loss of three, but more importantly, it brings up fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over.
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And that's complete to Adams. And Devontae's going to have a Raiders first down as he'll get this down inside the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Play action, Garoppolo. You swing that out wide to Jacobs. It'll go as a gain of four. And now we've got a third down and three. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards especially on third down yeah that one how about the defense figured that one out in a big way yeah they completed it all right and lost yardage Daniel Carlson on for the field goal remember he was drafted and released by the Vikings Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive. 
but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, 10 play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. He'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. They'll look to throw again. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. The Vikings in the hurry up. They're hustling up to the line. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Back to throw again. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And his kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the score line. Josh Allen, sharp in the victory, as his guys get back within a game of 500. From there, we head down south to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. The Buccaneers are still saying, we want to be a part of this playoff race, as they up their record to 8-5 with an important win. Finally, let's get to Silicon Valley check on the 49ers at home at Levi Stadium. And that game all square as they take on the visiting Seahawks. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. Come the Vikings, they'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. 
despite the turnovers, Charles, and, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. They'll set up a throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. They'll look to throw here. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. If this for baseball, we call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Garoppolo to throw on second down. Quickly a slant to Renfro. Seven yards there at a first down. A handoff. Jacobs running to the left. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. That's exactly what they were aiming for defensively. He from the coaching staff and even better execution.
So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Oh, the return is Osborne. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 23 yards the pick up there. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. They'll look to throw now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Moss. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Side handoff. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. A great play there with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Vikings are able to extend their lead. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance could evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Raiders offense ready to go. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. 67 yards rushing now on 23 carries so far. And Brandy, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Hold on a second. Was that the fullback? That was the fullback. Who says it the slot receivers? But the only guys can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch. Really nice job there. Showing good hands and an ability to get upfield. Still 
in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Here's Jacobs. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Running is Jacobs. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Garoppolo to throw for it on fourth. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Raiders first down. So signals the referee as they're going to convert by about a yard there on fourth and five. Big conversion. Back to the running game with Jacobs. A solid stiff arm. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. That good for 19 and a first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. This is caught. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and power it home here with a fullback, Johnson. Power on power, but he's not going to get in. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. to throw. It's Garoppolo. Touchdown Raiders! Devontae Adams with career touchdown number 94. He ties both Jerome Bettis and Priest Holmes on the all-time list. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. Trying to make a comeback often appears daunting, but the only way to get there, start small. Score and worry about getting the next one after that. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And this is back to a five-point game. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. He'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll look to throw. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up. His time is now run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. As we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. 
He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense heading out as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about what well, the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it will be Vikings ball first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Now a play fake here on first down. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Vikings. A big play there. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Vikings add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point right down the middle, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. On play action, now Garoppolo looking deep for Adams. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's and this throw brought in here by Mayer. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now a carry for Jacobs. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. The Garoppolo there on target to Adams. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. At the 44 yard Play action, Garoppolo. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. 
He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't that's, real thrilled. He wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Counter play with Jacobs. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 42-yard line. To throw is Garoppolo. Over the middle, he's got Myers. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And this will wind up being a third and three. Game of eight. Makes it third and three. Garoppolo. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Face mask. Defense. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. So the sack of Garoppolo, and now what can they come up with on third and long? On play action, they'll throw. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. And that drive was going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down, but on that one, the defense rose up and said, enough of that. A 45-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. And that lead is back down to nine now. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And out now come the Vikings. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. He'll drop to throw. And his throw is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota.
And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five yard line. And now here come the Raiders. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two score game and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And that won't buy a much room. Just a one yard gain to the five. Now second and nine. There's Garoppolo to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told. But they're still looking at a fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. On first down, Garoppolo. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That's complete into the hands of Myers. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Garoppolo's throw pulled in by Renfro. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. And that will be incomplete. And I think we'll probably see them go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores, they have to try and make something good happen. They go with Jacobs. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here's a second and five. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 34. Third down and one. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a fake on the jet sweep and instead a give up the middle. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So Garoppolo and the Raiders now. Down by 12. A minute 38 to go. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Able to connect with Jacobs. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Well, there's still hope, but it's dwindling fast. No timeouts left. They need two scores still. First and 10 here. Connecting with Renfro. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. This definitely four-down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it'll be a turnover on downs. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. They'll go ahead and take the knee here, and the unbeaten season will continue. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And even playing on the road, the class of this ball club just too much to overcome. Yeah, deep down, I think even the fans knew how this one was going to turn out. All right, they, they just came to support their team, hoped they'd see some good football, and they did. But they didn't really expect their team to win. In fact, they probably came in and said, let's win the tailgate. Because that, <laughs> that's where we have the advantage, and I bet they did that. So for the Vikings, the streak lives as they move to 13-0 now on the year. And they'll have another road date next week with the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, any slim hopes they had at a playoff berth gone now as they drop to 4-9. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.